Hello gamers, it's nice. I hope all of you pet class enjoyers summoning a zoo is having a nice day. Today, I want to talk to you about the most anticipated remaining archetype to be showcasing upcoming MMO as a creation, the summoner. I'd like to preface this video by saying we haven't really seen much on the summoner lately, so today's background footage will be some regular Ashes of Creation gameplay as well as some of my gameplay from the Necromancer slash Summoner of Guild Wars 2. This archetype is one I'm extremely excited for, just like a lot of you who voted on our community poll regarding pet classes. I've previously discussed the summoner archetype in detail in my 64 class breakdown video, which you can find in the top right corner here or in the Ashes of Creation playlist featured at the end of today's video. Now before we begin, I'd like to thank my YouTube channel members for the continued support and everyone who took the time to make sure they're subscribed as we work towards that 10k subscriber goal so I can be a YouTuber when I grow up of course. Now before we detail the summoner, let's briefly discuss Ashes of Creation, its archetype system, and previous iterations of summoner classes in recent MMOs. Ashes of Creation is one of the most popular upcoming MMOs and boasts a large 64 class system. As previously explained, there are 8 archetypes, and each of these archetypes can then choose a secondary archetype. This includes doubling down on that same archetype, which gives us a total of 64 classes. Working towards Alpha 2, we've now seen 5 of the 8 archetypes, some which receive very detailed showcases like the tank and a cleric and of course last month's mage showcase which was perhaps the best and most informal so i think it's safe to say with all the feedback intrepid received from the mage showcase we can expect to see similar showcases in the future when the summer comes i'm hoping to see the same we've seen the fighter archetype in the melee weapon showcase the ranger in the range weapon showcase the cleric in the day and night cycle the tank in its two showcases and of course the previously mentioned mage showcase which we did a breakdown video on as well i'll leave a link in the description to the official ashes of creation youtube channel where you can watch all of these in their entirety, which I highly suggest you do if you're interested in this MMO. So I started a poll in the official Ashes of Creation Reddit, and here were the results. As you can see, with over 1,000 votes, the Summoner reigns supreme among the remaining archetypes. Summoner and pet classes are pretty standard in a lot of MMOs. I really love the Summoner in Guild Wars 2, and I think Ashes of Creation is going to bring a good spin on the Summoner spec. Here's one of the combat devs speaking on the Summoner, which got me thinking about how the combat will feel. Um, but I will say I'm pretty excited to see what the summoner becomes. Yes. Uh, we haven't shown anything on the summoner and um, I'm not necessarily a pet class player myself, mm -hmm. but I feel like every summoner type class that I've seen in games, um, they they usually fall, fall a little bit flat yeah. in my opinion. Maybe that's why I don't play them, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I, I would like to see something a little bit more dynamic with like, you know, summoning in real time in combat rather than mm -hmm. oh I summon my pet right at the beginning of combat and then that's it, it's done it's out there doing its own thing yeah um, I think there's a lot to, left to be explored there and I'm pretty in fact we've already written up some stuff about it I really think the team at Intrepid will continue to surprise us and I expect a lot of innovation on normal pet classes I didn't care much for pet classes on the Elder Scrolls Online with the Sorcerer it was like your normal summon a pet and it's just out there kind of thing and ESL's Necromancer class identity was lacking and perhaps the least Necromancer kind of vibe outside of their ultimate which you can cast to instantly revive fallen teammates. I actually feel like the Sorcerer was the true pet class compared to the Necromancer in ESL. In Guild Wars 2, I loved the way the Necromancer class worked when there was engaging combat. I don't think players just want to summon pets that, you know, just make everything easy by auto attacking everything that comes close by and filling that desired DPS meter. I think players want summons to do this but have an interactive combat loop you know such as recasting a skill kills the pet and puts it on cooldown but it transfers its remaining health to you or maybe recast and it causes it to explode this is stuff i saw in guild wars 2 maybe inferring from the devs comments but i think summoners will have summons that will permanently stay out but others that are more powerful but stay out maybe like six seconds before going on cooldown maybe we can have a single target casting that summons a pet at you know an enemy's location and then it attacks them or bites them inflicting a bleed a ground-based aoe summon spell for the necromancer class that sees solo player friendly if your guildmates aren't online let's take a look at the various classes for the summoner first up we have the wild blade which is a summoner fighter then we have a summoner tank which is a brood warden a summoner rogue which is a shadow mancer a summoner ranger which is a beast master summoner mage a spell mancer a pure summoner which is summoner summoner will be conjurer a summoner cleric will be the necromancer and then we have a summoner bard which is going to be known as the enchanter 
I really predict that a lot of people are going to choose Necromancer simply because it's the coolest name. I think that's how we're going to see initially a lot of people choose their classes is simply because which sounds cool, but hey, I guess we'll see. I'm excited to see how summoners will be affected by various secondary archetypes as well as being the secondary archetype for other archetypes. I'm also excited to see summoner gameplay and how various augments will affect your summons. We've gotten some teases like how the fighter summoner combo may summon weapons that you use for a short period of time, but we can continue speculating on the potential of this archetype all day. I think last that we were told we could have up to three summons at a time and the summon that you chose or rather had out on the battlefield was a combination of skill choice, race, augments, class, player decisions, and more. We can expect the standard skeletal summons, zombies, animals, and all that, but the summons drastically affected by archetype, like the shadow summons from the Shadowmancer, is what I'm curious about the most. Like, how cool would those look? There was the previously mentioned power of group summons and siege summons, but it's been a while since we've really gotten clarity on that, so I'm gonna, like, not really get your hopes up there. Um, hopefully the devs confirm it soon. Uh, I'm looking at you, Steven, if you're watching, let us know if Siege Summons are still a thing. But, uh, you know, that's all I got for today. You guys let me know. What is the most anticipated archetype? Um, if we considered all eight archetypes, what do you think is the most anticipated one? You guys let me know if you're excited for the summoner, how you think the summoner skills will work, and let me know what cool pet skill designs that you could really come up with because I really, really think Ashes has a great opportunity to do something different and something special to make the summon slash pet class great. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my channel members here on the next screen. Really appreciate you all. Make sure you like the video if you liked. Peace.